Do you love you? Do you love you first? Do you put your needs ahead of your kids? Ahead of your spouse, your partner? Ahead of your parents? Ahead of your friends? Ahead of your work colleagues? Why does it matter loving yourself and loving yourself first? I lost so many friends, I lost count, female friends, to these particular cancers. Breast cancer, what's that about? It's about not nurturing you, yourself, your needs. It's about nurturing everybody else instead. Uterine, ovarian cancer, those female cancers. That has to do with, are you failing to give birth to your desires? Lung cancer, well your lungs are your life force. They're the energy that makes you alive. And brain cancer, brain cancer is a sign of failing to realize your dreams your plans for your life. It's no accident that so many women are getting all of those very particular diseases, this ease. There's a discomfort. There's a lack of ease in the way they're living their life. Are you doing that? You know, our culture says, if you're a woman, it's selfish. It's selfish of you to put your own needs first. Your husband will tell you, are you nuts? Is there something wrong with you? You got to take care of me. You got to take care of the kids. You got to take care of your parents. Well, how are you going to do that if you don't have anything inside? taking care of you? Where are you getting the energy? Where are you getting the motivation? Where are you getting the drive and the desire to go through each day as your energy's draining, draining, draining because you can't keep giving without receiving? I'll put a link in to my ordination speech. It's all about giving and receiving because they're two. They are not different. They're the same energy and they go hand in hand. And if you're only giving, if you're not receiving, you're stopping the flow of energy in the universe. It's time to take care of you. It's time to change the familial patterns that are going generation to generation ad infinitum out of our awareness. It's time for you to pay attention. You know, your husband wants to go fishing. He wants to go skiing. He wants to just spend a day watching TV and vegging out. But, but, but do you get to do that? Now I know in today's world, there are more husbands, more partners caring, but still, they have no problem putting their needs first. Do you ever notice that? And the only reason you are having a problem putting your needs first is it's not a thought pattern that's natural for you. But it can be when you choose for it to be. You see, 95% of the thoughts that are running you every single day, 95% of them are the same thoughts you thought yesterday and the day before and the day before and the year before and decades before and your whole lifetime before. Why? Because it's happening out 
of your awareness. So what can you do? Be here now. Because you know what? The only time that's real is now. In this moment, now, and now, and now. Stop taking energy and putting it in your past. Because you're making up a story of what happened in your past. It's your imagination. It's your interpretation. It's not the accurate picture of what happened. The same thing if you're projecting your life out into the future. You're making that up too. You don't know what's going to happen in the future. The only time you have is right now. You create what's going on in the future right now. So what are the steps to take so that you can love you, so that you can love you first? Oh, by the way, here's a quote for you. I tell people, well, specifically women, that loving yourself first is not selfish. Loving yourself first is mandatory. It's absolutely mandatory. I don't want to keep losing friends to all those illnesses because they're not feeding and nourishing their own energy because they're allowing all those thoughts operating outside of their awareness. All those invisible things. They talk about the invisible energies running us. They're allowing, and you're allowing, because you don't have in your awareness what's actually going on, what's actually driving your choices every day. You know, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and I'm very, very grateful that you came by here today to join us for this first in a series of Love Yourself First, Why and How, of Let's Get Metaphysical Connecting Heart and Mind. You can always join our Facebook group and see some extra stuff going in there. You can ask questions. You can make a friend. Please tell me, where are you listening from? And is there a particular topic you want me to explore with you? Because it's always been true. It will always be true. It's the invisible forces that are creating your world in every moment and with conscious awareness, you get to be in control of what those invisible forces are. You get to understand how to put something out there to the universe so it can manifest it for you. Because when you put a thought out and you have a feeling with a marked emotion attached to it, it happens. It just happens. I was asking the universe for, I had one browser, one internet browser that didn't follow me, that didn't put tracking devices, but I didn't like it that much. And I was looking around online for something else. And oh my goodness gracious, here comes a brand new browser, doesn't do any tracking, doesn't do any following. It even takes out the ads on your YouTube station when you're watching. It's the most private thing, as well as very private emails. And it's free. And I'll put the link to that. It's duckduckgo.com. And if you're using that, for your, if you're using DuckDuckGo for your search engine, you're already knowing. You're already familiar with their integrity 
and they're doing what they say they do. So I was asking for that, and there it was turned right up. When you ask for something, and you got feeling in with it, the universe delivers it right away. Because the feelings carry it out to the universe, and the universe says, oh, here's something that you're really wanting now in your life. Okay, here you go. Because it reflects back to you what you're sending out. So remember to join our Facebook group. Remember to see and hear, or your choice, or leave a review any episode on our show site. Audible is a good place to go to learn more about how to live more of your life in conscious awareness. Get out of that 95% of yesterday and yesterday and yesterday and 10 years ago. Learn how to live in conscious awareness, to be here now. And there are so many great books out there to allow you to do that. And you get a free trial at Audible. You get to choose to download an Audible book of your choice. That's an audio book. And spend 30 days looking all over this site. The other thing I was anxious to do was I was asking the universe, why do I get so incredibly dizzy when I go, when I leave my home and I go into an office building, into a shopping center, into way too many people's homes where they've replaced the natural incandescent lighting with all this white light? You know, if you're a sensitive person, that's impacting you. So it was happening to me, and it was something I was aware of decades ago. Just wear a natural hat, a cotton, or a wool hat when you're going into an environment like that. Because if you're one of the one in three people who's sensitive, that fluorescent lighting's impacting you. And in my case, I get severe dizziness. So if I went in to pretty much any office building, and if I was with a person and I mentioned it to them, they turn off the fluorescent lights in the office whenever possible. But if you notice yourself getting dizzy or not feeling great, it's probably because you're a sensitive person. And I'm going to put Dr. Karen Can's book in the show notes because it is the best book I've read for people who are sensitive souls like me and possibly like you since you're drawn here to see what I have to share with you. Now remember to download, to pick up your guide. Take your first steps on your spiritual journey. And the link for that will be in the show notes. And if you were trying to get that before and weren't successful, it's because I've been doing all this changing on a website and my head wasn't clear enough to figure out and understand how to do it, but I got it now. You know, whatever you resist in life persists. So take to heart that you need to be number one in your world because you can't give what you don't have. You can't give the light. You can't give the love. You can't give the energy indefinitely. It will take you out. And I sure don't want that to happen to you. Remember to enjoy capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, every moment. Because nothing in your world's happening out there. Guarantee. It's all happening in here. Leonardo da Vinci said, there are three kinds of people. People who see. People who see when they're shown. 
and people who do not see. Which type are you? Why don't you go on down below and leave a comment and let us know. I look forward to being here with you next time.